uh, today I will be talking about model of slow sleep event and their triggering by the Kaikol aspect along the Hiplang subduction plate interface. Okay, so uh, uh, main part of this paper uh, presentation was already published in this paper. So uh, 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 this figure shows a uh, uh, sleep deficit rate distribution obtained by Wallace et al. along the Hiplang uh, subduction zone. Uh, red color indicates a uh, high sleep deficit rate region. And, okay, so uh, so uh, so uh, uh, a long term uh, manners and the cup uh, got a uh, with duration of one to one point five years and recurrence interval of five years, and the short term SAC uh, occurred with duration of two to uh, three weeks and recurrence interval of one to two years, and uh, the. Uh, 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 2000, uh, 2016, uh, Kaikola aspect uh, triggered a uh, uh, shallow SSE and uh, uh, here and deep uh, capped SSE, but did not trigger the manners SSE. And it is uh, considered that dynamic stretch change uh, triggers a shallow SSE and uh, uh, statistic uh, stress change uh, triggered a uh, capped SSE. So, uh, we model a uh, diverse SSC along the Hiplang subduction zone and consider uh, static and dynamic stress changes by the Kaikola aspects to investigate the mechanism of triggered SSC. So we consider the friction property for the uh, Hiplang subduction zone. Uh, Rabinovitz et al. investigates the friction property of the input sequence of the subduction passive plate, uh, which are the rotary slopes for the SSC source region at North uh, Hikurangi, Hikurangi, and uh, they found a, a, a transition from velocity weakening at low slip velocity and uh, to strengthening at the high slip velocity. Uh, transition occurred at slip rate of uh, 0.3 mic micrometers per second. And this kind of friction property uh, can be represented by the uh, pattern state dependent friction law uh, with uh, cut of velocity. And uh, like this. And uh, we consider the formulation uh, with uh, stress uh, kick uh, by the earthquakes, and uh, uh, we consider the uh, shear stress change and the normal stress change uh, with, uh, uh, the function like this. And uh, we use the rate and state dependent friction law with cut of velocity to the evolution effect. And, uh, as a shear stress is in proportion to effective stress and effective and normal stress is sum of the initial stress and the normal stress change. And uh, we uh, uh, consider uh, we perform cosy dynamic analysis uh, similar to Matsuda san and uh, uh, we uh, add that uh, shear stress uh, perturbation uh, uh, shear stress kick uh, here. And this shows a uh, model setting uh, the distribution of A minus B and effective stress. Uh, model region is rotated by 45 degrees in uh, counterclockwise direction. Uh, A minus B is set to be uh, uh, minus 0.04 uh, SAC zones. And the effective stress is set to be uh, one megapascal in the shallow SAC zone and uh, five megapascal uh, Manuals and capped SAC zone. And the cut velocity is set to be 10 to the minus 6.5 meters per second for the SAC zone. And this shows us a special temporary evolution of slip velocity for two years. And for example, here, a capped and manuals SAC is occurred. And in the shallow portion, uh, a, a short term slow slip event occurred uh, more frequently than the long-term SACs. So uh, this shows the slip velocity changed with time at certain depths. Uh, this shows the uh, slip velocity uh, of long-term manuals and capped SACs uh, are here uh, for uh, 40 years. And uh, uh, this figure expands the time scale. Uh, and uh, you can see the um, uh, recurrence interval of um, a long term SSE is uh, around five years and the duration is uh, a half year. And, uh, uh, and this shows that uh, uh, slip velocity at the uh, depth 
depth of 10 kilometers for the shallow short term SEC is here. And uh, 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 short term SEC occurs uh, more, more frequently uh, than uh, uh, that of the long term SEC. And the recurrence interval is one to two years. And uh, uh, this uh, result uh, uh, consistent with observation. And we examine the uh, slip velocity change with time uh, for, uh, at the uh, slow slip event region. Uh, a green uh, a line indicates uh, a slip velocity at minus SAC zone, and red uh, line indicates the slip velocity at uh, capped SAC zone, and blue line indicates the slip velocity at deeper uh, seismogenic zone. And this shows the slip velocity of the shallow SAC zone. And, uh, uh, the, acti the activity uh, with the long-term SAC source region uh, changes uh, during the cycle. Uh, this is earthquake. Uh, uh, in the latter half of the interseismic uh, period, uh, the slip velocity increases with uh, in the uh, deeper portion of seismogenic zone. As a result, uh, slip velocity of the cup T and manual SAC become larger uh, like this. And uh, 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 this shows the temperature change in the recurrence interval of cup JCC and uh, mandate JCC zone. And uh, uh, after the uh, earthquakes, a more frequent uh, uh, SAC occurred with small amplitude uh, with a shorter interval. So uh, now we consider the uh, uh, static stress kick caused by the Kaikoura earthquake. Uh, this shows a uh, uh, shear stress and normal stress uh, distribution obtained by the model by Hamilton et al. Uh, in the southern part of the cup SAC zone, uh, the increase, uh, uh, increase in the shear stress by the earthquakes exceeds 0.2 megapascal. And uh, this value is uh, larger than the theoretically estimated stress drop of uh, uh, 0.13 megapascal for CAPTI SAC. So it is very natural that CAPTI SAC is, is triggered. But uh, uh, in Manas SAC region, uh, 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 shear stress increase is very small. So uh, Manas SAC is not to triggered. So this shows the spatial temporal development of the slip velocity just after the stress kick. Uh, it's given in the middle of a uh, cup SAC, and the uh, SAC start uh, at, uh, start uh, here and uh, propagate the north direction uh, like this. This is 10 days, uh, 30 days, 50 days, 60 days. So uh, duration of the uh, SAC is approximately uh, three months. And uh, this shows the uh, slip velocity changes with uh, with the time at point within the uh, cup G SAC and Manas SAC e, uh, for the case with and with that stress kick and uh, red line indicates a uh, uh, case without stress kick uh, and that at time uh, T1, T2, T3, uh, we give a uh, stress kick and uh, uh, slip velocity increase uh, a bit and uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, the slip velocity of the triggered cup TSSC is uh, 30 to 100 uh, times faster than that of spontaneous cup TSSC. Uh, conversely, uh, uh, in a uh, model result for the minor TSSC, uh, slip velocity increase, but uh, uh, SSC is not triggered following the cup TSSC, uh, the Kaikoura earthquake. And uh, this shows the uh, Various uh, point, uh, pointed out that the uh, east coast of shallow SSC were triggered uh, by the dynamic stress changes from passing seismic waves uh, from the Kaikoura earthquake. Uh, dur the duration of the triggered SSC in the northern section was a few days. Uh, and uh, on the contrary, duration of triggered SSC in the southern section was around 10 days. So, uh, uh, Kaneko et al. calculate the dynamic stress change, and uh, this shows the maximum uh, dynamic uh, stress. Uh, large dynamic stress uh, change occurred uh, on the shallow portion of the subduction interface due to the overlying low rigidity sediment. 
And uh, this shows the waveform of the dynamic shear stress change with the time from point uh, one to ten. Uh, uh, stress, uh, shear stress change propagate at the uh, velocity of around two point five kilometers per second. And uh, we consider the uh, triggering uh, of the uh, cell, uh, then triggering of cell SSC. Uh, and this is a model region, uh, MSV and effective stress. Uh, and no, uh, northern uh, section, uh, effective stress is set to be 0 0.8 megapascal. And in the southern section, uh, effective stress is set to be 1.2 megapascal. And uh, this shows the temperature change in the three velocity of short term SSCs without stress kick. And the uh, recurrence interval is around uh, one or two, two, two years. And uh, we give a uh, shear stress perturbation uh, that is a sine function of, of time and propagate south to north. And uh, uh, we assume the propagation velocity of stress pulse is 2.6 km per second. And this is the result of simulation and spatial temporal development of triggered SAC. Uh, after the stress wave has passed through inst instantaneous slips uh, occurred, uh, this is slip velocity and this is slip. Uh, instantaneous slip occurred uh, like this. And uh, uh, subsequently, uh, SAC uh, continue to occur because of stress increase uh, caused by instantaneous uh, Trips. Uh, this is one day and two days, uh, five days, 10 days. And the duration of SAC in northern section is a few days uh, like this. But on the contrary, duration of SAC in the southern section is around uh, 10 days uh, like this. This is a slip velocity. So this is a summary of my presentation. Uh, static Triggering of the capped SSC. In the southern part of the capped SSC zone, the increase in shear stress by the earthquake exceeds 0.2 megapascal. This value is larger than the theoretically estimated stress drop. So, uh, in a, a model, capped SSC can be triggered by, triggered by the earthquake. And in the main slip zone of the minus SSC, SSCs are not triggered. This result is consistent with the observation. And the dynamic triggering of the shallow SACs, uh, we consider the region of shallow SACs and give a stress perturbation by the earthquake. And the duration uh, during the positive stress perturbation, sleep velocity increase instantaneously. Instantly, uh, sleep continue to occur for a few days in the high, high effective stress region. Our results suggest that the dynamic stress uh, caused by wave propagation along the Board can trigger zero short term SSCs. Uh, thank you very much.